YouTube family? This is your boy Wolfrock coming to you guys with a uh, request by a couple of you guys that have requested this. Uh, Ruben is one of the uh, um, subscribers that actually sub uh, asked for me to do this particular person. Believe it or not, I have not heard this person, but he said he's just as good as Dimash. I'm having a hard time believing that this person is as good as Dimash. So we are going to look at it together as a family and see what you guys think and see if you guys think the same as this other individual. Um, the guy's name is uh, Abel uh, uh, Pentos, I think it's pronounced. Abel Pentos. I don't, I think that's how it's pronounced, but let me get it up on the screen here. I'm going to switch screens here real quick and we'll get started. Uh, let me do this and then I'll put it up here on the top. So that is what we're going to be doing. Abel uh, Pintos. I think that's how it's pronounced, but hey, we're going to give it a shot. So I do have new headphones, uh, brand new, speaking right out of the box. So this will be interesting. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Very excited to see what this guy is. Better than Dimash? <laughs> Come on. We'll see. Let's go. A lot of people there. I love live. Live is so much, you can tell a lot about live. Okay, so right off the bat, I mean, he's got a really great voice. Nothing that I would say, you know, is an emotional impact like I feel with Dimash. Um, but we're going to keep going. Uh, this is not, I'm not saying it's negative. Very, 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 uh, uh, very nice voice. I, ca I can feel that he has control over his vocals. Uh, definitely something that we're going to keep watching. Now, mind you, I know a little bit of Spanish. A little bit and enough to get me by <laughs> but um, this does not have closed caption it is, says it's unavailable for this video so let's keep going El grito inca, tu cuerpo va las piedras al viento le roban la sal y los grillos duermen la tarde oro desnudo del cerro atrás Cabo la boca de tu noche en lo oscuro, acero de tu negra piel, para dormirte entre la soledad. Okay, before he goes to the next note, so. Definitely very an expressive voice. He definitely has a uh, 
kind of a, I wouldn't say an emotional voice because I'm not hearing certain things that I normally hear with some of the other artists. Mind you, I'm not a, I'm not a vocal coach or any of that, but there's certain notes and pitches that really affects you as a human being. And I haven't heard it yet, but I'm looking forward to seeing if he's got different um, ranges and octaves that will inspire the the uh, the song. I actually pulled up the lyrics of the song. Very, very, very powerful lyrics. Uh, very interesting uh, melody so far. Being a uh, kind of doing a operatic. Uh, excuse me, uh, not operatic. Um, kind of doing a a solo without the music. Uh, a cappella, if you want to call it that. Very interesting. He really has good control over his voice, so you can definitely could tell. Uh, without knowing anything about this uh, gentleman, I it's, it's hard for me to put anything else into what I'm seeing, especially since this is my first reaction to what I was requested. So let's keep going. All set. Let me go back a little bit. Very expressive, very expressive in how he's singing this song, though. Definitely can tell. So a couple of things on definitely very emotional um, performance by the way he's doing this song. Uh, love the introduction of the music in the background. Love the intro on how the song is started. Um, you know, uh, the, it definitely got a, a, a very powerful voice. Um, the expression and the emotion on his face really tells a, lot, a big story. Every performer that I've watched and did reactions to in my a uh, little bit of time on YouTube is always been. I've always looked at the inflections and reactions of the face. Um, the face tells you a lot about the performer and how they are expressing a song. The gestures of the hands and the body language um, really expresses how they are singing the song. But the face really tells the story. This portion of here, you could tell a lot by just watching his his face. And definitely, that's something I really, really love. I, I am a, a big fan of, especially like with Dimash, for example. Having Dimash's stage presence and watching his face, his eyes, and seeing how he really is very passionate about music. and very You could see it come out of his soul to give it to the audience. I see kind of the same similar things on his face 
and his body language really giving out everything that he has to the song. It's very, very impressive. Um, that's something that I always look to. Um, yeah, it's very, very amazing to watch a performer do something like this. So we're going to get back to it. I'll go back a, a second or two, um, and then uh, we'll go and continue on. Clavó su pecho en la roca como una herida sin gritar. Ooh, nice, very nice, right there. A lot of emotions. We love that that sound with the flute. <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go back and re-listen to that. The cry and the emotion in that is really impactful. I actually got a couple of chills in my back for that. That was pretty... That's amazing. Okay, so in, in this part of the song here already, uh, the cry, the anguish, the emotional response to that this is such a beautiful thing to watch. Um, definitely knowing a little bit about the lyrics and listening to it really is a very impactful thing to watch somebody perform uh, this song the way he's doing it. Very, 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 very great to watch. I, I am very impressed with the caliber of the uh, of this artist be able to produce that uh, there's like i said there's not very many that can do that honestly a lot of them are pushed very um i could tell that he's really pushing those notes out um and because he's really trying to give out everything to the song and to crying out the anguish the the emotional um you want to call it the the emotional power that comes from that it's it's wonderful to watch. Um, it also takes you to it. It's like a storytelling. Love that. Sing it. Dejo las manos para la sangre con otro color y al rayo loco dio su Yeah, that was well performed. I, I'll tell you what, that was uh, uh, definitely, wow. Um, let me get this off the screen here a second. Whoops, oh, wrong one. Oh, there you go. Um, you know, let me, uh, let me repeat the comment that was made. Um, so we were looking at this, uh, this gentleman, uh, Ruben, says, uh, this is his comment. It says, uh, very good uh, analysis of Dimash. We were talking about Dimash on one of the videos of Ava Maria. And he says, I would like to you to analyze uh, the Argentina singer uh, Abel Pentos uh, on the song, this one we just did, a uh, unique sta uh, stadium version. You will be surprised almost like uh, with Dimash from Argentina. Um, 
Uh, and then uh, Argentina, he says just big hugs. So let me let me give you my my analysis of what I think. All right, about this artist because there's a lot I got to digest here. Uh, as far as Dimash, I, I don't say that he's better than Dimash because that's that's too high of a level, too high of a standard. Um, but as far as the overall um, stage presence and uh, the emotional impact that he puts to the song i would say it's very very equal to the mosh when it comes to the um the emotional presence that he gives to a, a piece of music at least in this one i don't know about the other ones because i've not seen anything else um one of the things that i'm always always fascinated about whenever i do reaction videos is the emotional tie to a song whatever that emotional tie is whether it be very special to the individual, so they have a very high connection to it, or it's special because it has some significance in their life from other people around them. Artists that actually put those kind of thoughts and those kind of feelings and emotions to a song is rare. It is very beautiful. It is very impactful. It is something that you just don't see in a lot of artists um, in this world. There's really very few that I can tell you, probably at least 10 or 20 it just in my head that, I, that I've done reactions to. I'm sure there's more that I've not seen, but the ones that I have seen, they're great artists. They do a great job of their tool, their voice, their performances. But when it comes to the emotional tie and the passion that they give out on every single piece, those are hard to find. Very, very hard to find. It's the reason why I gravitate towards Dimash so much because he has that. He has the whole package that I found. Um, even Floor, that I'm a big fan of Floor from Nightwish. Super, super uh, in love with her and Nightwish as a band. But even her hasn't, I don't feel like she has the complete 100% package um, because there's certain ties of certain songs, there's certain emotional elements that I feel that she doesn't have on some pieces. Now I'm not saying, I'm not knocking, don't, don't, don't take me the wrong way. What I'm saying is that that emotional piece, right, that emotional piece is, is I find it in this gentleman as well. He has that passion. He has that that emotional tie to that song that is very evident. It's evident in his face. It's evident in his body language. Very, very impressed. Very, very amazed at uh, the quality and the caliber of this artist. Um, Dimash has it for me. He's very, very, very big on my list as far as individuals that I'm really in love with. As far as the expressional love that he he has the whole package. Um, you can love an artist, but it, they don't have to have the whole package. But if, when it comes to that passion and the emotional tie to a musical piece, they're hard to find. They're very, very hard to find. Or at least if they're honest about it. And you guys know what I'm talking about. You guys that are dears and those of you guys that, are, that love other artists, you guys know that attachment that you have to that artist as well as you have the attachments that you have to other artists. They may be different. Some of them you really are very passionate, very, you know, you love that artist because you got an emotional connection. Another artist, you just love their music. You love their rhythm. You love their beat. You just, you just love the artist for that. But when you try to connect the two together and try to find an artist that has both, sometimes it, it can be a challenge to have both of those in that mix. And I, I think this gentleman here definitely, um, from what the very first reaction that I've had to this video, really shows that he has that part of that, uh, uh, of that, I would say, you want to call it the artistry balance, um, to make him that whole package. Now, I, don't, I have not heard any other music, so I can't, I can't balance that out to tell you that he's a, an amazing artist. But I am impressed and amazed that an artist like this um, hasn't come in my way. <laughs> so thank you, Ruben, for showing me this individual. I am glad I did this reaction. Um, I apologize it's a little bit longer than I normally would, but I, I sometimes I like to talk about 
things that I'm very passionate about. And I'm very passionate about people and artists that do this. And so thank you again for those that have watched my channel. Uh, thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. Thank you for showing your love by putting their thumbs up on the videos. Thank you for your comments. I read every single bloody comments. I've had some comments that I've had almost 3,000 to 9,000 comments. I spend my time and I go through all of them. Um, those that I comment to is because they uh, they are evident. I try to give it a like when I can. Um, a lot of times you guys have great, great feedback. I am so thankful for my family of uh, the Wolf Pack here on Wolf Rock. Uh, you guys mean a lot to me. Love you guys. Thank you so much for your support. Uh, thank you for this time that we spend together on YouTube. We'll catch you guys next time. This is your boy Wolf Rock. Stay classic, stay safe, protect your loved ones, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace.